Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read a story called Our Twitchy by Kess Gray and Mary McQuillan. Twitchy was watching a butterfly being a butterfly. Mom, he said, why don't butterflies hop like me? Because they're butterflies, swired, smiled Milfoil. Dad, said Twitchy, why don't you and Mom hop like me? Sedge looked at Milfoil, and Milfoil looked at Sedge. Sit down, Twitchy, said Sedge. There's something you need to understand. Twitchy sat down and took a bite out of his carrot. The reason we don't hop like you is, said Milfoil. I'm not your bunny mom, said Milfoil. And I'm not your bunny dad, said Sedge. Twitchy twitched his nose and blinked. Milfoil tried to explain. Twitchy, your bunny mom and bunny dad brought you to us when you were tiny. They couldn't look after you because they already had 16 little ones to feed. They wanted someone to love and care for you properly. So we said we would, and we did, and we have ever since. I don't understand, whispered Twitchy. If you're not my bunny mom and my bunny dad, who are you? I'm a cow, said Milfoil, and I'm a horse, said Sedge. Twitchy blinked again. But you can't be, he said. Bunnies live in burrows. We all live in a burrow. It isn't really a burrow, Twitchy. It's an empty train tunnel. We wanted it to be like a burrow, said Milfoil. But bunnies eat carrots all the time. We eat carrots all the time, said Twitchy. It's very dark in the train tunnel, Twitchy, explained Sedge. We eat carrots to help us see in the dark. I still don't understand, said Twitchy. Come with us, said Milfoil and Sedge. Twitchy followed Milfoil and Sedge down to the banks of the river. Look into the water, Twitchy. What do you see? asked Milfoil. Twitchy stared long and hard at the reflections before him. I see two pairs of big brown eyes that always twinkle when they look at me. I see two great big kind smiles that always make me feel happy, said Twitchy. But Twitchy, look again, said Milfoil. You have long floppy ears. We have much shorter ones. You have a white fluffy tail. We both have long, dangly ones. Your fur is soft and gray. Ours is shiny and brown, said Sedge. Twitchy lowered his eyes to the ground. I never noticed before, he whispered. We can't possibly be your bunny mom and your bunny dad, can we, Twitchy? said Milfoil. Twitchy twitched his nose, burst into tears, and ran away, away from the river, away from Milfoil and Sedge, as away as away would take him. Milfoil and Sedge ran after him. They called his name from the highest hills and down into the deepest burrows. They asked every bird and animal they met if they knew where Twitchy might be, but nobody had seen him. Twitchy had gone. It was getting late and it began to get dark, too dark to see. When Milfoil and Sedge started bumping into trees, they knew they would have to give up the search. With big sighs and heavy hearts, they slowly turned for home. They were two fields away from home when Sedge and Milfoil suddenly pricked up their ears. A strange sound was coming from the direction of the train tunnel. It was faint and very trembly, like a moo, or was it a nay? Milfoil and Sedge looked at each other and galloped for home. When they arrived at the train tunnel, they found a very strange creature by the entrance. Its soft gray fur was smeared with brown mud. Its long, floppy ears were rolled up and fastened with clothes pegs. It had a little dangly twig tied to its fluffy tail. It had sorrowful little eyes and a little twitchy nose. Twitchy, cried Milfoil and Sedge. Where have you been? Moo, whispered Twitchy. Nay, whispered Twitchy. I can change. I promise I can change. I can be a cow or a horse. Please be my real mum and dad, his voice trembled. Milfoil bent down and gently licked the brown mud from Twitchy's fur. Sedge carefully removed the clothes pegs from Twitchy's ears and the twig from Twitchy's tail. We are your real mom and dad, Twitchy, smiled Milfoil. We've always been your real mom and dad. We might not be bunnies, but we've always loved you and cared for you just the same. We don't want you to change. You'll always be our Twitchy, said Sedge. Twitchy twitched his nose and gave a little hop. That'll do for me, he said. Ten more hops into the train tunnel. Twitchy turned and shouted at the top of his voice, What's for tea, Mom and Dad, Mom and Dad, Mom and Dad? He liked the sound of his voice when it echoed inside the tunnel. Milfoy and Sedge laughed and shouted happily back, 
Carrot Sun, Carrot Sun, Carrot Sun. They felt even more like a family than before. Wasn't that a good story? Yes, Twitchy learned what real family is all about. Yeah, it's people who love you and care about you. I bet you love your family, too. All right. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.